Hello, my name is Umut. I work at Zama as a compiler engineer. In this tutorial, we'll go over how to get started with Concrete, our fully homomorphic encryption framework, or FHE for short. Let's start by creating a virtual environment. And let's activate our environment. You can use pip to install Concrete using the command pip install concrete python. Concrete is supported natively on Linux and macOS, and for Windows you can use WSL or Docker. It is supported on Python versions 3.8 to 3.11. Let's wait for the installation to finish, and then we can continue. Great, let's create a script and fire up an ID. Everything you need to use homomorphic encryption in concrete is included in the FHE module of concrete namespace. So we can import it with using from concrete import FHE. Also in this tutorial we'll be using NumPy, so let's include that as well. In order to use FHE from Python using concrete, we need to define a function that we want to compile to FHE. Let's call it f, uh, which will have two arguments, x and, y, and x and y. Let's do a simple addition, and we'll decorate this function using the FHE.compiler decorator. And within this decorator, we need to provide an encryption status for each of the arguments. For example, we'll go with x is encrypted, and we'll go y is clear. Great. Now we need to define something called an input set. Now every value in FHE needs to have a certain bit width associated with it. And input sets are the way we determine those bit widths. We could have um, made them manually selected, but for complex applications such as uh, machine learning models or um, circuits that include like matrix multiplications, convolutions, things like that, it's very hard to assign a proper bit width because you don't know how large that your uh, intermediate values will get. Instead, we decided to go uh, with an input set uh, and you provide an input set that is sampled from like a like a usual distribution uh, of the uh, of the inputs to this function. So for this uh, tutorial, we'll go with a very simple input set that is sampled from a random distribution, and we'll go like this. Um, let's make x uh, between zero and two to the four, so it's a four-bit value. And um, let's make y between 0 and uh, 2 to the 3, so it's a 3-bit value. And it's not enough to provide a single sample, so we'll, let's also uh, sample like 100 times to get more accurate uh, input set that represents like typical inputs to this function. Great. Now it's time to compile our function to, to FHE. Um, we can use the function that uh, compile to do this and we need to specify the input set here. This compile call will return a circuit object and this circuit object has a lot of functionality to do a lot of cryptographic things such as key generation, encryption, decryption, also doing the homomorphic computation. It also has some properties such as uh, complexity or size of the inputs, uh, size of the keys, etc. Um, for this tutorial, we'll be using this encrypt run decrypt function, which uh, encrypts the argument and then runs the homomorphic computation and then decrypts the results. Um, let's give 10 and 5, and uh, we expect this to return uh, 15. Lovely. Let's, let's run this function. Let's run the script. And as you can see, the process existed with code zero, so the assertion isn't failed, isn't failing. Um, we can use this uh, variables flag to uh, 
to see a bit more details about uh, the, 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 the compilation process. And here uh, you can see we have this computation graph that we uh, used to manipulate um, before doing the compilation. Um, and then we create uh, something called an MLIR, which is what our compiler is expecting. And here uh, you see uh, we have this 5 bit value. Um, and then uh, we add uh, this uh, six bit clear value. And uh, we, we have the, the cryptographic parameters that are selected by our optimizer, and we can uh, observe those. Great, let's do a bit more complex uh, function as well. Um, let's go for a division. And when we run this, uh, we can see that the, the division is converted to an operation called the table lookup operation. Um, and we see the, the division is uh, expanded into, into a table representation. Um, table lookups are very powerful and they can be used to perform a lot of things in concrete. Um, they can be used to, to compute, compute bitwise operations, um, maximum between uh, two, two values. Uh, they can be used for comparison. Um, and um, they, they can also be used for nonlinear operations, such as activation functions to neural networks. So they are very powerful tools. Um, thanks for following this tutorial. Let us know on our community support channels if you have any questions. And see you soon. Thank you.